Imagine RIT, it's happening this weekend. Our tech guru, <laughs> Norma Holland, is there now. Come on, Norma, you're, you're a tech, tech guru. guru. Apparently our tech guru. <laughs> yeah, I've, you know. I've been, known to help, I've been known to help Doug with Facebook once in a while. And, uh, and send, send me really text count. messages. Uh, oh, well, you know. Okay, appropriate yeah. text uh, messages. <laughs> Oh, absolutely appropriate. Yes. Hey, we're here at RIT to preview the Imagine RIT Festival. It is a day-long festival. It's Saturday from 10 to 5 here at RIT. And they're inviting you at home to come on down to see what the students are up to here. They are amazing with what they do here. They're so creative. We're going to meet two guys here. Uh, we've got Dan Sternfeld and Frank Tefano. They've created a game. Um, they're game developers, game designers. They've created a game that was, well, it's pretty popular now, isn't it? Um, yeah, we've actually gotten quite a lot of critical acclaim. Um, there are a number of websites like Slide to Play, um, Tap Magazine, and um, AppAdvice.com that have recently reviewed it. Um, and, They're uh, saying it's the, was it ranked the seventh most popular game? Yeah, uh, Slide to Play ranked it as the seventh most popular uh, game of the year um, over uh, games like uh, Toontown and Beat Sneak Bandit. And the so game really is called Fade, right? What is it about? Um, so Fade is it's a puzzle game exclusively for iPad where you have to uh, guide this uh, detective um, by fading parts of the environment out of existence. Anything okay. that's white, you can um, make temporarily just phase away. It. This is so cool. Do you want to do this one day, Frank? Is this what you want to do eventually? Well, I'm actually a graphic designer, uh, and I was pulled onto the team uh, months ago. Mm -hmm. And so I became the art lead and uh, defined the look and feel of it. Yeah. So it was a lot of fun to work with. I love the way that you guys described it. Kind of film noir meets the iPad game. I love it. Yeah. Congratulations, good luck to you guys. Thank you very much. All right, and we've got another group here. We've got to see these guys. Um, they are two pre-med students here at RIT. We have Nick Biondi and Zach Smith. You guys created something called Operation Brain Food. What is it? Yeah, it's just an exhibit uh, that we use to get a lot of people out and educate them about healthy lifestyles. And uh, we made an operation board and these- Like the game. Like the game. Uh, it's real big. It's bigger than my buddy Zach <laughs> over here. Um, so we're hopefully to use that to draw some people in uh -huh. and get out our good word and hopefully... And when you leave, you actually get to sign your name on what, like a poster board or something? We're going to have a poster board where you can sign your name. It's going to say, I use my brain today. And then take home a brain. So you go to free stuff and we get to tell you our message about living healthy. Yeah, and the, the, the crayon that they have for you to sign your name is shaped like a brain. I love this. A crayon brain, all of this to, to send out a really good message is what you want to do. But it's a game, so people can come on down and play as well, just like, exactly. you know, the operation game, where if you touch the side, it would buzz you and that kind of thing. Um, is this your first time for, uh, being in the festival? Uh, actually, uh, PSA, our pre-med group on campus, has had exhibits ever since I can remember. Uh, mm -hmm. We did an obstacle course last year and the year before that. So now we're just kind of changing it up. Um, Be Life New York, which is an organ donation club, is right next to us. Oh. So the operation kind of fits right in with what I they're see. doing and kind of a link between the two of so us. So you're promoting donation of organs too. Kind of cool. Well, good luck to you. you. It was really nice to meet you guys. And again, it is Saturday from 10 to 5 here at RIT. Tons of fun, tons of music. And again, this is just what it's all about, creativity. If you can imagine it, you can create it. And they are doing that at RIT.